So, we've got a circuit with gates, and we want to draw its truth table. How many inputs have we got? Four inputs. So, how many columns will I need? Four inputs. So, I need a column for each one of my inputs. A, B, C, D. And then the fifth column for the output. The first problem we encounter is how to populate the inputs. If you got four inputs, you will have two at the power four possible combinations of inputs. What is two at the power four? Sixteen, correct. So, the way I do it myself, I start with this one and I just split it in half. The top half is zeros. How many zeros do I need here? Eight, Eight zeros. And how many ones? Eight. All right. And then the next one is going to be split in two again with how many zeros right at the top? How many zeros right at the top? Four zeros, yes. And then four ones. And I repeat this pattern just there. One, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four ones. And again, so this one, only two zeros, two ones. And I repeat this pattern. Two zeros, two ones. Two zeros, two ones. Two zeros, two ones. And the last one is always going to be alternating 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, the camera is not looking at you, so hands up if you want to jump straight to the output or whether you think it might be a little bit safer to, to put in some intermediate points to help us make sure we get to the correct result. So, Hands up for being lazy and going straight to the output with massive risks. And hands up for taking the safe approach. All right, so no name, but point at someone who had their hands up for, I know it, I can go straight to the, to the, to the right answer, and then they are going to tell us. So, all right, we're being shy. Um, so, these ones... This is what type of gate? AND gate. Oops. And that is an OR gate. This is a NOT gate. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is an OR gate. So whatever happens here will also happen at the output. Whatever happens here will also happen at the output. So if my C and D or zeros, what's going to be this one? If my C and D are set at zeros, what's going to be that one? Zero. Which means that this one is a? One. All right. So every time C and D are zeros, I've got a one here, which means I've got a one at the output. So we need to have a look, C and D are zeros here, so I've got a 1 at the output, and I just go through that, and if I see C and D are zeros, I know I can give it a 1, no matter what else. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, this here is not lined up properly, so that's it. Sorry, have I missed one? Isn't the last one an OR gate, so if little two ands this is an OR gate, yeah. so if I've got a 1 here, I've got a 1 at the, one, at the end. A, B, but I've not done A and B yet. Yeah, no, but it the output depend on what the A No, if, it, if, it's, if this is an OR gate, 
as soon as I've got one hand at any input, I've gotten a, a, a one at the output. So if I've got a one here, I've got a one there, no matter what A and Bs are. So now let's have a look at A and B. So what I'm interested in, because this is an OR gate, I'm interested in getting this to a one. So what do I need here for the output to be a one? What do I need for A and B to be, for this to be a one? Both ones, all right. So when A and B are ones, I get a one here, so I also get a one at the output. So I'm going through, and this time I'm looking at A and B being ones. So it can only happen in this half, because the top half is, is always zero. And then in this half, that part, the B is always zero. So I'm only looking at that down here. So I've got a one here, a one there, a one there. And I've already got that one for this line over here. And everything else is a zero. And zeros all the way here, up until this one. And thank you very much for the participation. Oh, we got a question. Sorry? Which line is it? Fifth one. So that one. Zero one, zero zero is also a one. Why is that? Because, oh, I missed that one. Thanks very much. Thank you, thank you. So that's also a one. All right. I'm going to stop this one and then we'll do another one for 